Hello. We now know what a derivative is and how to calculate it using uh, the first principle definition of the derivative. However, we've seen that using this method uh, it becomes uh, very tedious to uh, perform the calculations even for simple functions. Therefore, in this uh, second chapter we are going to learn a set of rules that will help us determine derivatives of fu uh, polynomial functions in a much more efficient way. So let's have a look at uh, the first set of uh, such rules. First, the constant rule for a function that's nothing else than a constant. This function is going to be uh, basically represented by a horizontal line. Therefore, its rate of change is zero. The derivative of a function that is constant is zero because it's never changing over its domain. Another very important rule is the power rule. So for a function f of x, which equals x at power n, and n is a positive integer, then the derivative of such function is going to be n times x at power n minus 1. You can easily find the proof for this uh, rule by using the first principle definition of the derivative. As a matter of fact, any of these rules can be verified using this uh, principle. If we have a function f of x, which is c times g of x, the derivative is going to be given by c times the derivative of g of x. So in other words, this constant uh, uh, doesn't really influence our derivative. Now another very important rule that we're going to use all the time is the sum rule. So for a function h of x, which is the sum of uh, two differentiable functions f of x and g of x, the derivative is going to be the sum of the derivatives of those uh, two functions. The same way we have the difference rule, which is nothing else than uh, the same rule as before, but with a negative sign. So for a function h of x, uh, which is a difference of two differentiable functions f of x and g of x, the derivative is going to be the difference of the derivatives of those two functions. You've noticed that I'm using two notations, Lagrange and Leibniz notation. At this point, feel free to use uh, either one of these notations. Lagrange notation is a little easier to use because you don't have to write as much. However, mathematicians are usually using the Leibniz notation. In uh, advanced uh, calculus courses, you will probably encounter Leibniz notation uh, exclusively. I leave it to your discretion which notation you choose to use for now. Either one should be perfectly fine. I'm going to stop this lesson here. Thanks for watching.